Hello everyone, welcome back to Geek Disorders web series over HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and jQuery. This is Lavic. I'll be going uh, through this series with you. Um, I wanted to cover one more CSS issue, uh, which is HTML5 semantic elements in older browsers. Uh, once you, uh, like IE6, 7, and 8, uh, they won't recognize the article aside, figure, footer, header, nav, section, and so on, uh, the new HTML5 semantic elements. Uh, so we had to find a way uh, to get around that or we wouldn't be able to use them when we're targeting older browsers and this would create an issue for us. Uh, luckily we do have a way to get around this and the way is JavaScript. And I know we're not covering JavaScript yet, but this is a real easy something you just cut and paste, and uh, it will teach older browsers, um, no matter what browser it is, what the HTML5 semantic elements are and how to treat them. Um, it, it's, it's a combination of JavaScript and a tad bit of CSS. So how do we do this? Well, I have uh, here, I might Google. If I go, uh, actually, I'm just going to type in the web address. Uh, if I go to HTML5 and then I do shiv.googlecode.com, and this, you, you can bookmark this uh, and save it, and uh, this is what you want to uh, want to use. Now. Right here they have where you can download the shiv file um, and you can put it uh, at the top of your page in the uh, head section. Um, best, it, You can do it before your CSS if you have embedded CSS or if you're linking um, or you can do it after. It's recommended you do it after for performance uh, purposes. Um, so you can just um, put that in. Um, Another thing that you can do, uh, and I will show you a script you can use, um, and I will uh, place uh, place this uh, script uh, in the in the uh, uh, description uh, below, uh, so you can check it out. And I will also be showing you that script here in a second. So you can either download this and follow the instructions and place this in um, your head section, or you can follow uh, just plug in my script and so what I'm going to do I'm going to open up a new notepad plus plus document here and I'm going to go to save as and we'll save this on my desktop and I'm just going to call this uh, let's see uh, H HTML5 dot H oops HTML5 dot HTML all right I'm just going to set up a basic uh, HTML5 uh, doc top HTML, HTML. be good if I there we go oh, I cannot type today and what's about language attribute to English so I'm just going to set up a basic HTML5 uh, template here and I'm going to close the HTML and if I could navigate the keyboard all right I'm going to open up uh, a head section here Go ahead and close that. I'm going to open up my body. I'm going to go ahead and close that. All right. And in my head, I need a meta with a character set attribute. Set that to UTF-8. Close that. My title. And I'm just going to do uh, older browsers. Right. Title. Okay, and if I'm body, let's say I had a section. There we go, and I'm just gonna put. Let's see, um, yeah, this is my section. There we go. We'll save that. All right, and I'm gonna add some embedded CSS. And remember to do that. You do it with a style tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Alright, and I am going 
to add CSS to target my section element and I'm just going to change the text color to red alright and I'm going to run this in Firefox and there we go my text is now red I'm going to run this in IE since it's, it'll be the easiest to go back uh, in uh, ver to versions of uh, IE that did not support HTML5. This is IE10, it supports HTML5. We move down to IE9, the text is still red, it still supports uh, the HTML5 semantic elements. I move down to IE8 and suddenly my text is now black again. It's lost that CSS formatting and there we go and there's IE7. So we need to teach the older browser what a section is and uh, let it know what kind of element it is. That way the CSS uh, can target that uh, element. So up here in the header, and I'm going to do this after my CSS, uh, whether you're using embedded or whether you're linking to a CSS file, and what I do is I create a script tag, all right, and I'm going to just gonna go ahead and close that script tag, and I'm not going to put any content between these two tags here. I'm going to add an attribute and I'm going to do source equals all right my double quotes there and uh, you can either go back to using um, that web page I showed you and I will link that web page in the uh, uh, description below also or you can just top out this and this code will also be in the description below. It is HTTP and then we go HTML5 shiv dot Google oops code dot com slash SVN slash trunk slash HTML5 dot JS. All right, I'm going to save that. All right, and I'm going to just for kind of show you all what's going on here. I'm going to create another section and close that and put this is my second section. I'm going to save. Alright, I'm going to run this in Firefox. There we go. My two sections here. A section is a, a block element so the, the second section is on its own line. It is underneath the first. I'm going to run this in IE IE10 has it right, and uh, the second section is underneath the first. I'm going to move down to IE9. We're still good there. I'm going to move down to IE8. Alright, and i got to allow that blocked content that it was warning me about. You notice when I allowed it, suddenly this went from all being on one line, okay, to being on two, and it has the correct color. I'm going to Go to seven, same thing. We, we have, now have CSS affecting our uh, our uh, uh, section element, and it knows it's blocked and it has the correct color. Now, okay, so that tells all uh, tells the older browsers that all these elements are blocked. Um, now this code right here is probably updated, and so it already knows they're blocked, but there might be a browser out there, or so along the other, something along the lines that you want to be doubly safe. And if you want to be, you can add this in. All right. Well, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this content. Uh, the next video we'll be uh, jumping into uh, measurements with uh, and colors. Um, and so this has been Lavic with uh, Geek Disorder. I hope you all enjoyed this, and we'll see you all next time.